Tonight, a metro area mom has a warning for parents about toy magnets. The toys landed her five-year-old in the hospital. He had to go under anesthesia to get the magnets out of his stomach. Now, Fox 4's Russell Colburn is live at Children's Mercy Hospital. And Russell, she says the doctors told her of four other cases just that day. Yeah, this was on Saturday. These are the magnets we're talking about. They're powerful and stackable. She said her five-year-old son swallowed a couple of them, and then they had to rush here to Children's Mercy Hospital. <laughs> Jojo is a typical five-year-old. The Gladstone boy loves to run around, even play hide-and-seek with our camera. <laughs> but Saturday was no fun for Jojo or his family. They're super high powered. We hit the gas pedal pretty hard and pretty fast because we were both aware of how dangerous it was. JoJo's mom, Jenny Friend, says nurses at Children's Mercy acted fast. What was it like going to the hospital and all that? Um, it was a little bit scary. I'm a single mom and I was sitting in that room just trying to wrap around in my mind what life might look like if they did move into the intestinal tract and if major damage was going to be done and kind of what life was going to look like for us. X-rays show the magnets were not yet in Jojo's intestinal tract. Friend says doctors had to put Jojo under anesthesia, go down through his esophagus, and remove them from his stomach. It's something Children's Mercy has warned parents about. Their article from earlier this year states the magnets can be drawn together and make holes in the intestines causing blockages or severe infection, and many children require emergency surgery. The hospital says in 2019, the National Poison Data System reported nearly 1,600 calls related to this. ER visits have increased by 444 percent since 2017. And in August, the Consumer Product Safety Commission recalled certain toy magnets due to ingestion hazards. It's why Friend wanted to alert other parents. These magnets, they're just really not safe, and unless a child is truly mature enough to be playing with these responsibly, they just shouldn't be. By Monday, Jojo had fully recovered. How do you feel now? Feeling good. And back out here live, friend says that three other families were here that day for the same thing, and those cases involved blockages, but so far the hospital hasn't confirmed that. About these magnets, they're pretty strong. It takes some elbow grease to pull them apart, so. Definitely a potentially dangerous situation. Russell Colburn, Fox 4, working for you.